This is uh, CSC 428, the Computational Biology Capstone course. It's a project-oriented course where the students work on implementing a project that's derived as an application of computation to the field of biology. How the project works is that we're given an overview of the topics and throughout um, the capstone I have to develop a really efficient algorithm and that has kind of forced me to like read new papers and learn a lot of new topics and that's a new way of applying what I've learned in computer science. Our project name is called Project Atticat because the um, um, letters in that name make up uh, letters in the nucleotide sequence, so we thought it was cool. Our project involves taking segments of a nucleotide sequence and finding how we can efficiently piece them together uh, to form a full uh, genome sequence. The biggest challenge so far has been learning a new programming language, which is Julia, and it's used specifically for computational biology things, so it is well suited to the project. We're definitely making progress, so we're getting there. Um, a lot of figuring out like the different type systems. When we first started the project, we decided that we wanted to store two bases into a single uint8. And at the time, this seemed like a really good idea because they were going to be saving space. But as we got further down the road, we realized this led to a lot of complications with um, just odd length reads when we wanted to deal with not an even number of bases. Um, and about halfway through the project, it looked like this was a terrible idea and that maybe we'd have to go back and revise that and change a lot of stuff. Um, but we were able to work with our decision and figure out how to deal with these different issues and I'm just really proud of us for being able to figure out um, how to make our decisions work in a good way. The .el file provided by Julia standardizes four space caps. Our group, we are the Illuminati and uh, well it's Illumina, it's kind of, you have to do it. And we are working on Illuminati genome assembly. I, I think uh, both the other groups did a string graph implementation, but we did something completely different that we think nobody has ever done before. We are going to use good old-fashioned uh, hashing. The idea is you get a bunch of reads from your sequencer, and you look for substrings within those reads that uh, have the lowest hash value. So you look at kind of a sliding window uh, in each of the reads, and you find the, the window that has the lowest hash value. The title of the bug is called What Do We Want? So basically, um, I think here it reflects on the mistakes that we made. What we want is not the um, index of the begin hashing. We learned our lesson, and uh, if you go, if you continue, we corrected it. For a 100,000 length genome with 100 times coverage, it took about 10 seconds to converge, which is pretty good. We're very, like, our algorithm is pretty. I would say very high quality at error-free data, which doesn't really help that much because nothing is error-free. So nobody cares about error-free data. What you really care about is uh, simulated error data. No, you don't actually care about it either, but we have, to, we have to go through that. What you really care about is real data, and this is where it gets really interesting. It actually works. If you shift our, our result by like, I don't know, a thousand nucleotides or something, it works. Back in week one, when Larry floated this crazy idea, it seems to work. Uh, we don't know if it works for everything, but it, it kind of works, and it's fast, and it's pretty cool.